Hello guys and welcome to Vlogging Project. Today I'm gonna do a quick review of the most expensive case for the Samsung Galaxy S9, the LED view cover case, which I've paid 59 pounds for it, guys. Now, the phone is so expensive that you need some kind of protection and although that's not really my type of case because one time you're gonna need to make a normal conversation and you're gonna look like that, like your grandma. So <laughs> I bought it because I wanted to see what kind of case and what kind of quality are you gonna get for this amount of money guys and of course to tell you is it worthy or not but the main problem with those kind of cases is check this out within just a few minutes of usage because usually you use a phone like that with this kind of case right check this one out yeah it doesn't close properly but anyway let's see if it's any good guys now, before I start the review of the LED cover case, guys, let me first tell you about the Alcantara case, which I've reviewed just a few days ago. Check how bad and dirty that thing looks after just a few days of usage, guys. Check this out. It looks like it's like one year old. It looks like a scruffy dog. So I definitely can't recommend this case. But can I actually recommend this one? Well, let's find out. First of all, there's the packaging over here, nothing fancy, but that's actually the quick start guide, which I read just to see and learn a few things about this case. Check this one out. Do not touch the device with wet hands. Basically, this case has no IP certification of any kind. If you dip it into water, this case is going to die. And what I mean by that, that's not a regular case, guys, because as you can see on this picture over here, A is actually an NFC antenna built in over here and B is the LED screen, which is that bit over here, guys. Now, that screen is not connected to any power source or to any device or something like that. It doesn't charge or anything like that. So it's a mystery to me how does this LED cover operates? Actually, does it have a small battery over here? There's a small magnet over here, but I seriously doubt they've connected the magnet so it can charge. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, so therefore, I don't know how much this screen is going to last, guys. But potentially, if you dip it into water, this screen is going to die. And as well, if you hit it hard, this screen over here could crack as well, guys. So keep that in mind. Now, this fancy clock animation over here um, is really nice, to be honest with you. And there are a few other animations. And the good thing is that you can actually set up your own animation for a certain context. Let me give myself a quick call and see what kind of animation I have actually set up. Check this out. That's a cat. So basically you swipe right to pick up the phone and swipe right to close, basically. Which has, you, you know, this screen actually has some sort of a touch functionality. Check this one out. You have some extra functionality. For example, when you go to, let me quickly check this one out, advanced features, you go to accessories and you have the automatic unlock function. You have LED icon editor about LED cover. Basically, you can assign a custom icon to whatever you know you like. Check this one out. Coffee, gift, cake, whatever. You can also draw your own one. Uh, for example, something like that. Um, I don't know. Or whatever you want to draw, really. Um, but anyway, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, that's all the functionality about this case, guys. And the case itself is very nice and soft. It has this kind of alcantara feeling. You can keep your Oyster card over here as well. Um, there is a hole over here for the speakers. So you can actually make phone calls when the case is closed like that. But the thing is that there is no, uh, you know, quick option to see the clock. You can't just double tap here, double tap here, or just you can't really use the fingerprint reader like that, guys. Nothing is going to happen. The only option you've got is just press the power button like that, which is a little bit restricting. Apart from that, check this one out. I really love the color and the texture, definitely feels luxurious. You've got the shortcut for the Bixby button and the volume buttons. If you hold on the Bixby button like that, unfortunately nothing happens before because I've disabled the button. However, the long press is still active. You can't really disable that, but unfortunately, yeah, nothing happens. You've got a really nice feeling hard plastic over here. Uh, there is a hole for the microphone as well. On this side, the um, power button is exposed. And on the bottom, yes, you have some extra protection on the edges over here. But pretty much that's it, guys. What I don't like about this case is check this one out. It wobbles a little bit like that. Probably the magnet that they've installed is not powerful enough or they should have installed it on this side so it doesn't wobble like that. 
And the other thing is that really the build quality, yes, is very high quality materials, but check this one out. I mean, you can see how they've put the glue over here and they couldn't, you know, make it perfect on this side over here. Um, and the thing is that for me, that is a problem, guys, because if you pay 60 quid for that case, you could as well buy a bunch of stuff for that amount of money. For example, a couple of months ago, I bought myself this Blackberry Leap over here, 50 pounds, brand new phone. Check this one out. That's a replacement phone. Now, for 50 quid also, you can buy this Kodak Actra case. Of course, if you have Kodak Actra. And let me tell you that, guys, that this is the best case I have ever seen in my life. Let me do a smell test. Ah, oh, real letter, guys. Check this one out. Amazing, real letter. Or, if you want to go extreme, you can actually buy all of those cases for 60 quid, guys. They're 10 pounds each, more or less. Uh, Rinke, really high quality brand, and you're gonna sort yourself out for life. <laughs> At least until you crack the screen of that phone and find out how much it costs to replace. But anyway, that's gonna be the theme of my next video, guys. Rinke cases line up. I've got all the cases for the Galaxy S9 really good cases at a really good price guys that's gonna be on my next video so make sure you hit the subscribe and the like buttons it's gonna really help my channel a lot guys so yeah thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one adios